Allah the Almighty says in the glorious Quran, Verily those who believe in the oneness of Almighty God, those who submit themselves to the will of Allah and His Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and work deeds of righteousness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most gracious will bestow love of them into the hearts of the people. I had a dream. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and in the dream something was compelling me to write a book on this great personality. I had no idea where to begin. Yes, I am a writer and you've just heard I have written a few books. But in this case, it's not a textbook that I teach in university. You are talking about this great human being. Today we are talking about the life, services, thoughts, legacy of a very, very great scholar of Islam, a philosopher, a scholar, a poet, writer, an eloquent speaker and orator. He must be entitled as the silver-tongued orator of Islam. Hazrat Shah Abdul Alim Siddiqui Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Maulana Abdul Alim Siddiqui traveled the world. He was the roving ambassador of Islam, went all over the world where Muslims did not even exist. Islam didn't even exist. And he went on a mission. He talked presidents, prime ministers, common people, kings, queens, you name it. With the same ease, with the same comfort. And he never denied the fact that he was a Muslim. And because of his honesty, his openness, people embrace him. He had nothing to hide. He went as far as Edmonton in Canada, where he founded the first masjid. First mosque was founded by Maulana Sahab way back in 1939 in Western Canada in a city called Alberta. Those who are sitting attending, I will request them to sit down. It is not an ordinary meeting. You should sit with complete manners. Observe manners and sit with manners. All those who are standing outside, they should come inside and sit down. Maradul Siddiqui Ramdari was addressing a crowd on a Sunday and a gentleman by the name of Dumakao Alanto. He was a member of the Senate of Philippines and he was also from the royal hierarchy. He got up in the morning and he found that none of his servants were there at the house. So he asked his wife as to what was the reason that nobody is there. Where have they gone? So the lady replied that there is a oriental magician in the city and everybody has crowded to, to listen to his lecture. And this was stated by the Makaulan to himself because when he came over here, when the said demise for my father took place, he, he came to pay his respects at the grave there. And he mentioned this uh, account also, he confirmed this account also. He was very annoyed at the fact that none of his servants were there. So he took upon himself to go and question the, the oriental magician, as he said. He went to that event and uh, out of turn, you, you found that uh, Malana Abdurrahim Siddiqui Ramadali at that time was uh, about to begin his prayers, having finished his lecture. So he said uh, in a, a loud voice that why are you people trying to deceive these simpletons? Where is God? You talk about God. Where is God? And my father was also there with him. And then he also said that he was a graduate from Oxford in philosophy. And he would like to, to find out, to discover by himself, where is God? My father intervened and he said that he would like to answer this question. But Nanajan said, no, 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 no. Let me handle it. Narajan said, would you like to see God? He said, yes, I want to see God. So according to the description that I got, Narajan had his hands like this and he bowed towards his heart. And a second later, this man cries aloud, I've seen God, I've seen God, I've seen God. 
and then he fell unconscious right there and then later on when he was uh, came out of his unconsciousness he held on to the feet of nanayan and said i want to become a muslim right now at this very moment and then he accepted islam and this man senator dumaka ulanto remained the, the 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 president of the muslim association of philippines for all his life until his death this was one of the facet of his personality mohtaram janab mustafa fazal ansari who had this opportunity to sit on the lap of maulana abdul alim siddiqui rahmatullahi taala alaihi and he used to entitle him as ruhi ruhi means my spirit or soul so we are very much thankful to you sir for uh, enlightening our thoughts and our hearts we only talk about the life and the miracles events and just about the miracle thing happened in his life i think the life that he led how he lived his life to me that's more touchy so what typical traits what typical qualities like having learned from any madrasa darul ulum having acquired in the uh, philosophical education the hadith and tafsir what you found uh, writing in the book as a mission arriser as a person who works on missionary uh, I mean cause so today what we can focus on some of you may be surprised to hear that the word god is not allowed to be mentioned in the school what was the reason he visited to mauritius and uh, he loved to uh, live there most of his time pakistan is beautiful but mauritius is more beautiful thanks to everyone who has attended today especially our chief guest today dr ibrahim aladin mustafa fazil ansari sahib i am really honored today to have your presence here in in the city of knowledge you know it's one of my favorite topics when we talk about the awliya allah and you know when you say friends of allah so you actually uh, you know relate so much that you know they are the friends of allah so it's a great honor for someone to be known as that and uh, the two great personalities especially dr shah abdul alim siddiqui rahmatullah alaihi uh dr fazlur rahman ansari rahmatullah alaihi i have you know known so much of them from dr umair mahmood siddiqui sahib and uh, all of the alimians and you know uh, now i feel part of like alimian maulana abdul alim siddiqui rahmatullah alaihi born in india but a man who had been teaching in the universities of france australia canada england living in mauritius and he has his keen interest to express and expound his loving feelings for maulana abdul alim siddiqui rahmatullahi taala alaihi so it was a breath of fresh air to know that dr ibrahim aladin is writing a book on maulana abdul alim siddiqui rahmatullahi taala alaihi and alhamdulillah the book published later and the book is before you now before uh, we come to an end i request you to recite suratul fatiha and suratul ikhlas three times in low invocation so that we may make isale sawab and dua